Good morning everybody. Welcome to Technique Tuesday. My name is Ali Board and no matter morning, how you everybody. are watching me this morning, thank you very much for taking the time and trouble to tune in. You might be watching me live, you might be watching me on catch up, however it is that you're doing it. Thank you for uh, taking time out of your very busy lives to spend some time with me today. Now we do have a live Facebook chat going on at the same time just in case you're wondering who it is that I'm talking to whilst uh, I'm going about my demonstration this morning and I do like to give people a shout out because it's very kind of them to take the time and trouble to tune in. So I'm going to look to see who gets our award of the day for being the first person to comment on Facebook and it is the lovely Linda P this morning. Good morning lovely. Uh, who else have we got in the room? We have Alice, we have Julie, Maureen, uh, Barbara is saying that it's lovely and sunny in Dorset. It really is very very beautiful, very autumnal this morning. How apt for what it is that we're going to be doing. Uh, who else we got? Uh, Hilary P, Sandy, good morning, Pam, Rabina, uh, Anne. Uh, my mum is in the room. Good morning, mum. Liz is in the room. Uh, Lynn, who else have we got? Anne B. Anne is saying it's misty where she is. Uh, now, Joe is just showing off because she's in Santorini. Just go and sun yourself, my lovely. She says it's windy, though. Hmm, uh, never mind. <laughs> Uh, Diane, good morning. Viv, uh, Ali D, Christine, uh, Rosie. Um, oh, Rosie's going to get a new knee on Friday. Good luck, my lovely. I hope that goes very well for you. Uh, Leslie, Jane, uh, Val and uh, Julie as well. So it uh, looks like you're scattered all over the globe today. We've certainly got Australia. We have got uh, France, uh, Santorini, obviously, um, and uh, Scotland, Isle of Man, all sorts of people literally I wish I had a map sometime I must get one up in the studio and I'm going to put pins where you all uh, tune in from so thank you very much for doing that now this morning we're going to be starting a brand new project because I've had a little break from Technique Tuesday after the intensity of 30 days has September. I'm going to talk more about that in just a second. Um, so I thank you for giving me the time and space to have that little break. We're going to be doing autumn leaves. I've got a brand new project. I've got a few ideas percolating in the back of my head, but I haven't really thought it through too much. I kind of think I know what I want, but you know me, I will go with the flow. I will experiment with the things that are in front of me. We're going to be looking at starting points today and we're going to be looking at bringing the outside in. Uh, and that's going to be quite important today. But before we do all of those things, then I just wanted to remind you where you can find stuff because I know some of us don't like technology as much as others. So I wanted to remind you about the website, about where you can go and find all the things that I talk about during one of these broadcasts. So if you go to www.learningtopaint.co.uk or if you Google learning to paint, then you should be able to find the website really nice and easily. Now yours might look a little bit different if you're, watch, if you're looking at it on a phone or a tablet, but uh, so we've got the menu up here because I'm looking at it on a desktop. We've got the words here for the menu in the top right hand corner and that little shopping cart symbol up there which tells you if you've purchased anything from the website. Now your menu might look like a couple of lines on your phone in which case tap on it or click on it and those words should come up. Now, if you want to find Technique Tuesday, past, uh, present and future, can you see, look, you go to resources, that little menu pops up and then you can click on Technique Tuesday or tap on Technique Tuesday if you're on a smartphone or tablet. And there you'll see uh, today's um, blog post and you'll see some of the things that we have done in the past. We had a look at this lilac breasted roller. We've got fungi. All of those uh, posts there are for you to to enjoy. But you might notice from those posts, can you see the last time we did Technique Tuesday, uh, officially when it was on its own, was uh, in the middle of August. And you're thinking, well, that's quite a hiatus. That's uh, two months. So you might be thinking of going back and looking at 30 days hath September. 
that was my blog where I broadcast every day for 30 days. You can see them all there. Let's click one uh, at random, shall we? Let's uh, just uh, look at Sapphire. You can say it says read more there. So you can go back and you can look at uh, all the things that I was looking at. And there's the little YouTube video which you can play and you can watch it. Let's fast uh, forward it a bit where you can see some of the, the demonstration that I was doing in terms of 30 days. Now, if you would like to join me for a class, then you can go to the learning part. Uh, let's have a look at the all day workshops because I know I've still got some availability on those. Now, it doesn't matter where you are in the world. You can either join me in person in Dorset or you can join me online and we've got some exciting ones coming up. We have got that experimental landscapes, which is now full. Um, we've got a couple of spaces left on the chimpanzee workshop. And then there we go. There's that nature journaling workshop where I teach you some of the things that we did during 30 days. So there's plenty for you to look at over on the Learning to Paint website. Let's get back to me and let's get back to um, the uh, saying good morning to everybody because I'm sure that I have missed uh, people out. Who have I missed out? Ruth, good morning. Uh, Sally, Jill. Uh, now I've already said good morning to Joe. Joe <laughs> Joe's commenting. Um, oh, we've got Hazel in Italy as well. We've got uh, Patricia, Gwen in lovely Shrewsbury. Uh, gosh, where really, you are all scattered all over the place uh, this morning. So, and there's a couple of people uh, commenting about the chickens. If you do follow me on social media either on Instagram or on Facebook, then uh, you'll know that the UK, uh, unfortunately, has been given um, advice to keep our uh, poultry and our ducks and geese and uh, birds safe. So I've got to shut them away. So guess what I'm doing this weekend? I will be mostly in a chicken pen looking at lots of enrichment for them. So uh, yes, going to be lots uh, on the go this weekend. Uh, Jilly, that's very sweet of you to say lovely to have you back. Rach, good morning, my lovely, sending you a huge hug northwards and Joe T as well. Right, let's get to our project, shall we? Let's get to that autumn leaves demonstration. Now, why autumn leaves? Yes, I know it's autumn. It is autumn here in the UK, so uh, it's not uh, that big uh, a leap. But the All Aboard Artists, my online um, art community, are currently tackling autumn as a theme. We've been looking at horse chestnuts. We've been looking at rays of light. And uh, tom tomorrow? Hmm, can't remember. Yes, tomorrow. We uh, are doing, uh, some of the members are doing a live tutorial where we're looking at kind of looking through trees in into a woodland type of watercolour painting. So there's lots of autumnal things going on. But I thought I would do something different. This one's going to take me a few weeks, I think. So our little autumn theme is going to run all the way through. Good morning, Dee, our lovely admin. Our assistant admin, Dee, is in the room as well. Good morning. Um, and so uh, lots to think about in terms of autumn, but I'm going to start it really simply today. Shall we go to the overhead camera and uh, we can see the materials that I've got in store? Very simple today. A pad of tracing paper and a waterproof sketching pen. But those are not the things, good morning Lois, those are not the things that we need first today. Here we have a rather scrappy looking drawing board, um, but it holds great joy beneath it. So let's just peel this away nice and carefully. Uh, a few months ago, I went around my garden. I didn't know I was going to do this project. I, I promise you, I did not know that this was going to be a thing. I went around my garden uh, and started harvesting some of the leaves. Now, this is blotting paper. And all I did, I haven't really, I can't find my flower press at the moment. The studio's in a bit of disarray and I can't find my flower press. So all I did was I, I took some blotting paper and I squished the leaves between two bits of wood. Aren't some of these just delightful? Look at these. That is from my uh, anemone, I think. They're kind of geranium leaves that we've got. Bits of pear tree. What else have we got? I haven't actually looked at these because I wanted the excitement of sort of revealing them. Ooh, look, we've got... Uh, that's off my raspberry. I remember that. And a bit of uh, aquilegia. Um, what else have we got? I think that's raspberry as well. Uh, all sorts of things. That's definitely off my pear tree. Oh, I quite like the crease in it. That's interesting, isn't it? Uh, what else have we got? 
can't remember everything that I um, cut up. So this is what I mean about bringing the outside in. You don't need a lot of fancy equipment to go around your garden if you have one or go and uh, ask a friend if you can go around their garden just harvesting a few leaves. Uh, you could uh, pick some up off the ground if you're not comfortable about actually uh, plucking them from plants. Uh, you could go around, obviously there's lots of fallen leaves at the moment, um, or you could go to a local park, all of those kind of things. Just be careful with the, the amount that you take and uh, make sure that you get permission from anybody whose uh, plants you are plucking leaves from. Oh, look at that one. That's definitely off my anemone uh, plant. That's really, really beautiful. Liking that. That might be for, for a different project. And what's this one? Uh, I can't remember where I uh, took that one from now. And obviously here's my uh, beautiful fern that I have. Still with those spores on the back of it. These are brilliant. You know, in the past we've done a bit of gelatin printmaking and the like. These are perfect an example for that type of project. Now, I don't think I want those. I want to select three different kinds of leaf for my project. Uh, I definitely want to go for that one because that is just too beautiful. Loving that shape. So we'll go for that one. What else shall we go for? Let's pop this sheet uh, back again. I think we might go for one of the geranium types of leaf because that's quite an interesting pattern, isn't it? So we could go for that. And then maybe I want something sort of more rounded. Let's go for, is that the best example of that one? I think um, the stalk is a bit skew with, but we can, we can always change that. So I think I'm going to go for that one too. So let's carefully pop these back together again. Uh, and let's put this sheet on top. I didn't, like I said, I didn't uh, squish it particularly. This is just ordinary blotting paper. I just had my uh, two sheets of uh, drawing board and I actually uh, just uh, clamped them together with, uh, with a bulldog clip. That was uh, all that I did in terms of that. Um, so I'm going to pop that to one side, making very sure that I don't put it end up. Otherwise, all those leaves are going to fall out. Oh, let's pop it over there. And then let's get our tracing pad in. So if you're not uh, a very confident uh, drawer, then there is no reason at all why you can't use tracing paper on a regular basis. And I'm going to do that today because what I think I want to do is to create a repeating pattern of these. That's the sort of idea that I've got in my head. I'm not quite sure how that repeating pattern is going to manifest itself, but we'll, uh, we'll give it a go anyway. So let's pull, let's just pull a couple of sheets of tracing paper out of here and flip this shut. Just to give you the information on the tracing pad, this is Frisk. Uh, you can obtain this from the SAA. This is a 90 GSM pad, A4 size. 90 GSM is a weight of tracing paper that I particularly like. You can get lighter weight than this and you can get heavier weight than this. So we kind of got the Goldilocks version of it, haven't we? We've got somewhere in the middle. Now let's use the back of our pad today and we'll take uh, that couple of those couple of sheets. And I think the other thing that I'm going to need now, you could do this individually Am I going to do this individually? You can see I haven't made too many decisions about this. Uh, am I going to do this individually or am I going to trace them as they are? Do you know what? I think I'm going to be brave and do them as they are. Although I need to move that stem. Is it going to break if I move it? If I bend it ever so slightly. No, I think we're all right. I think we're no, it doesn't. It doesn't want to. It doesn't want to go that way. It has snapped a little bit. That's OK. Uh, and I'm going to arrange them in a pleasing design. Do I want them with stems on them? Do I want them not with stems on them? Let's just have a quick think about that. No, I think I quite like them with the stems on. Let, let's keep them with the stems on. And so uh, over here, I have a little bit of washi tape. So that's that very low tack paper tape. You can use masking tape as well. That's not a problem. And let's get them lined up into a pleasing pattern. So I've gone for three, of course, because uh, I can't do even numbers, as a, a lot of you know. And I'm going to tape them down to the sheet of tracing paper. 
let's um, do I want that more at a jaunty angle or do I want it straight no we'll we'll go for we'll go for slightly askew that way I think that will work and then let's space this one out on the end uh, no, now what's Rosie pop, uh, popping up on Facebook? I've seen exquisite miniature paintings done on dried leaves. Here's an example. Oh, brilliant. Thank you, Rosie. Thank you for sharing that link. Um, if you're watching on Facebook, then uh, follow that link that looks like a Pinterest link that Rosie has shared. Thank you for that. Yeah, people do some really, really clever things, don't they? Really clever things with this. So what I'm going to do is I've just got to very quickly pop up so that I can take the zoom in on my camera so that you can see this in a little more detail. There we go. So it's taped down to tracing paper and uh, I'm hoping that uh, you can see that's come out just a little bit. There we go. And then what I need to do is take my second sheet of tracing paper. You don't have to tape it down to tracing paper. You could always uh, tape it down to a white piece of paper. And then I'm going to make sure that this doesn't slip by taping the two together. So let's take a little bit more washi tape and uh, let's make a, a couple of hinges out of this. So tearing it into smaller pieces. And those leaves are relatively stuck down, so I don't think they're going to go anywhere. We're just doing some preparation so that... Uh, we don't um, move anything or things don't shift. Sometimes a little bit of extra preparation helps enormously when we come to doing our drawing. Do I want more than that? Yeah, I think I better had. Let's pop some hinges at the bottom just to kind of line things up and make sure they don't go anywhere. Good morning, Sheena. And... Uh, one more down here so everything's prepared everything's sort of sandwiched together and what I'm going to do now in so in terms of bringing the outside in what better way to get the perfect uh, shape and texture and proportion of the leaf than actually taking a tracing of it so this is a fine line waterproof sketching pen. This is the Unipin one. It's a 0.4, but that's just a massive coincidence. It was the one I plucked out of my bag this morning. And I'm going to use it to create a really nice line drawing that then by the time I see you next week, I'm going to have played about with before we start thinking about painting these in. So let's give this a go, shall we? We're going to go through this serration. Now, there's no reason at all why you can't invent some leaf shapes, why you can't use images that you find on the internet. But you know me and my garden. I'm uh, relatively new to gardening, getting there, and I've had to have some time away from it because I've been so busy. But glad to say that uh, I'm back in the garden again. I've been uh, helping the chickens to uh, prepare for flock down. I've been uh, pulling apart the polytunnel after all the tomatoes had finished. I've been having a rare old time in it uh, the last couple of weeks. We've been trying to clear it up and do a bit of autumn pruning. And so that means that when I look back on this project, I will know that I actually used leaves from things that I had grown myself, which I think is very satisfying. Uh, and all part of my plan B project for those of you who've been following along with that. So let's get a nice fine stem in. This is quite a challenge, A, to do it live and B, to, to not have my head in shot. But I think we'll be okay. Now let's have a look at the veins. I can see those quite clearly. So shall we put them in? Yes, let's put them in. Oh, a pen didn't want to work there and we'll go up to the next one that's quite a long one that comes up so at least you don't have to question whether your leaf shapes are realistic or not it doesn't get a lot more realistic than actually using them from life so i'm a big fan of this bringing the outside in uh, type of thought process uh, as you know, I like to work from photographs as well, but I think when you've got the actual subject somewhere at your disposal, it's good to take advantage of that. 
So what have we got? We've got another vein coming uh, in. Uh, good morning, Anita. And yes, Ruth is saying put the garden to bed for the winter. Yes, it does feel a little bit like that at the moment. Um, we don't want to use uh, the W word. There we go. Look, got a nice line drawing uh, from that leaf now. Really pleased with that. Okay, this one, I think, this geranium is going to be a little bit more of a challenge, but an interesting shape. So let's go on to there. Now, whilst I'm doing this, it gives me the opportunity to encourage you to uh, sign up for either my social media or my newsletter. Now, if you're on social media, it might be that you haven't had the opportunity yet to either like one of my social media profiles or follow it. I would be super, super grateful if you could do those things. And if you're watching this footage back on YouTube, there's a little subscribe button underneath uh, my current broadcast. Give me a click on that as well, please, because it really helps me to keep broadcasts like this free for everybody. So give me a like, give me a subscribe. Now, if you would like to hear more about the news that I have in terms of classes and where you can see me demonstrating and the like then you need to sign up for my newsletter and I promise that I don't send I don't sell your information off to anybody I send you a newsletter about once a week uh, giving you all the latest information and I have some big news coming now the way that you do that is you if you pop over to my website a little box will pop up and it will ask you if you would like to subscribe but it will also you there's a page where you can go to as well which says newsletter sign up and all you need to do just to make doubly doubly sure that you get that newsletter is to put my email address into your contacts and that's really quite important so you need to put ali at learning to paint .co .uk into your contacts and then you should get all my latest news. And like I said, there's some big, big news coming. I know some of you know it already, but um, I'm going to announce that in the coming weeks. So we've uh, got uh, a few veins going in on this geranium leaf. Uh, what's Rabina saying? Bob and I were discussing what my DNA meant. Draw nature art. I think that's brilliant, Rabina. <laughs> uh, do say good morning to Bob for me too, won't you? Uh, now let's get some veins coming up. Uh, these are quite tricky to see actually through the tracing paper. Could always have a bit of a sneaky peek, <coughs> excuse me, uh, in there. But I think we're we're doing all right. We're doing okay. It looks like a geranium, I think. And then let's pop uh, some veins in here. Got one more to go. Let's. We've got one coming down here. And one going off that way, and I think that looks pretty good too. Yeah, that's all right, isn't it? And then last one, we've got this uh, pear leaf. Now, this one's going to be an even bigger challenge, I think, to see where the veins are. But it's a rather pleasing shape. So we'll get this in much smoother than the others. With a few undulations in it. Comes to a nice point up here. Uh, it's really quite thick under the tracing as well. Um, you've got some sort of folds in it, which I'm enjoying getting my pen around. And let's get the stem in. So that's coming down there and coming down that way too. Let's cap that off. Now we've got that centre vein uh, that comes up here kind of goes around the corner. Now you've got a few little um, holes where various creatures have had uh, a small amount of breakfast. I'm actually going to put those in because I think they are a bit characterful. Looks rather nice, doesn't it, when you, when you take it away. And I'm having a quick look at where the veins are because I'm... I sort of remembered that there were a lot of them, but I couldn't. I can't actually see them through the tracing paper. Well, I can sort of see the start of them. So we'll put in the ones that I know. My pen really doesn't want to work for me this morning. Let's go this way. They go down and then up and around, which is interesting. I don't think I want to put all of them in, if I'm honest. Where do these ones go? Let's pop... Oh, Ooh, come on, come back. Let's... Pop some of those in this side. 
one that goes up there. I don't really want them to all end in the same place because it will look rather unnatural. So we'll put a few in and we'll do a little bit of artistic license. I think you know me well enough by now to know that I don't have an issue with artistic license. There we go, that's really interesting, isn't it? We've got some nice patterns emerging on there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop the lid onto my pen and I'm going to very carefully unpeel the washi tape from the tracing paper. Let's peel that away. And we'll come down to the bottom ones. Now what's lovely about this project is that kind of everything is savable. Good morning, Jane. Um, because there you go look we've got that lovely line drawing now that we have safe it's kind of in the bag I'm gonna try and do some interesting things with this before I see you next week for TT uh, but also we've still got our leaves so you can I'm gonna stick these back into my press to use another day if you use this washi tape it's going to be quite kind to them and hopefully isn't going to destroy them in any way so let's pull that off let's pull that one off there so we've still got our leaves there and where they've dried out they're they're going to be safe as well and we've still got and obviously we've got our line drawing now and that's where I'm going to leave it this week because there are some things that I want to do to this there are some things that I want to experiment with I'm going to be using a little bit of technology just to leave you on a bit of a cliffhanger today. I'm going to see what I can do with this line drawing um, and then we're going to talk next week about how that's going to manifest itself, how we can paint it, what things we can do with that. But now we've got that safe. We can photograph it, we can scan it, we can uh, literally trace through it. You can make multiple copies of this. So a nice, easy start to a project where you haven't had to do anything too scary, but you have done it all from nature itself. So we've got that bringing the outside in. Um, and that's a very lovely start to a project. I'm excited about this. I think I'm going to be painting them in maybe in watercolour, maybe in gouache. Haven't quite got to that part of it yet. Probably a little bit of ink work in there, no doubt, as well. But when we come back together next week, uh, I will have done something with this. Not quite sure yet what yet but uh, it will have manifested itself somewhere else on a piece of paper and uh, then we can come back together next tuesday morning at the same time nine o'clock and you can see what it is that i'm going to do with it so don't forget all that information that i shared with you you can watch this broadcast back on my website or you can watch it back via facebook uh, please do get in touch with me if I can answer anything else for you but until I see you next time either virtually uh, uh, either virtually online or in person please take lots of care of yourselves won't you it's lovely to be back and I will see you again very very soon all right take care everybody